Speedmeister Pahatu, great to see you again, man. <laughs> Greetings, viewers alike. I am one up from one up twenty six, aka Dark Spectre, and welcome back to another Bionicle 2015 review. This time, we're going to be taking a look at Pahatu, Master of Stone. So let's dive right into the set. But first, this big guy. So, Lego Bionicle, 7 to 14, 70785, 66 pieces. In the back, yeah, ripped because I was trying to take the stickers off. But let's get into the set. Also, a little comic here. Let's get to the nitty gritty. Oh, sorry. The voice was cracking for some reason. And as always, first up the instruction booklet. So, the full version of the comic. If you want to look at that, the sorting bit, basic build, a lot of it actually. The poster we've seen before, then all of the Toa in one, the combination model for the powered up version of Bahatu, which I have to admit, this version of Bahatu actually looks pretty nice. And then when they go. Okay, let's get into the pieces. Some really good stuff I'm seeing already. get on with the pieces. See what we got. Okay, as far as returning pieces are concerned, get the basic out of the way, which is the bone pieces. Again, sorry for barking you here in the background. My dogs. So we get the bone pieces here, stuff we've already seen before. No need to go over again. Actually, hold on real quick, sorry. I'm gonna take a break from the recording and come right back. And I'm back. Sorry for that. Had to sip out for a moment because something was happening. And so, I'm back. Sorry about that. Now, back to returning pieces. So, for returning pieces, we have four size four armor pieces in silver. I believe this is silver. It's not exactly gun metal. Yeah, it's gonna metal. Yeah, it's just my eyes are playing tricks on me. We also have the Hero Factory feet in silver. So that's nice. Um, let's see what else we have. We also have two of the hands for, you know, in silver. And I want to say that's about it for recolor. For new pieces. Or returning. Actually, I like it. For returning pieces, also, we have two Borok eyes in this neon lime green, so that's really good. And then that's it for returning pieces. Now, as far as recolors go, let's go into those. Now, for starters, we have the bone pieces in this nice neon lime green, which we've gotten with the protector stone. Oh, wanted to mention. A bit of a recolor, but not exactly, is the Goroth end staff that we have here in silver. Now, you're probably thinking, well, isn't this the same one from 2003? Yes and no. Yes, that it's the same mold, but no as in this is slightly darker. I don't have an original right now to compare it with, but most likely you'd understand. We then have four size 4 armor pieces in this nice reddish brown so that's really nice to have kinda almost a clay color you could say oh we also have a hero factory breakout not breakout but brain attack torso armor piece in silver it's all over the place today we then have the chest add-on in 
brown, not the same brown color, but we also get this nice little print. I actually like this print. I really love it. And that's about it for recolors. Now, new pieces. First up, of notice, we have the new gearbox, which uses that. We also have this piece here, which I'm not sh I forgot to mention this in my golly review, but I'm not sure if this piece is new. I could be wrong. We've had it before. But as far as the, you know, CCPS system, this is new, as far as my knowledge goes. But this is the new gearbox, even though it looks like something from Technic. We then have three of these new armor add-ons in silver, so that's always nice to have. We also have four of the new boomerang pieces in gunmetal, and these are actually really nice because they're just nice looking. You know, you can like that, and you know, they're just, they're really nice. Really nice pieces. Love them. We then have five of the new claw pieces slash leg in the same gun metal, so that's cool to have. We then have the Skull Spider Mask in dark blue. Kind of the dark navy blue that we've gotten before. Kind of a metro blue, you could say. But it's really good. We then have the new head with the lime green eye stock, which looks really nice. And then the Pizza Los Resistance, Bohatu's new mask of stone. This looks really, really amazing. It kind of looks more towards the Mata Pahatu than the Nuva Pahatu, but it looks really, really good. We get a normal version in the same reddish-brown color, and we get a gold version. So that's really, really nice. And that's about it for the pieces, finally. So, now that we've looked at the pieces, let's build Pahatu, Master of Stone. So, here he is, Bahatu, Master of Stone. Very great to have you back, Bahatu. Very nice to have you. Now, Bahatu, similar to the Protector of Stone, is pretty unique in the sense that both are pretty asymmetrical. Over here, we have an arm that's, you know, completely gunmetal and silver. Well, silver, at the very least. And we have one here that looks like natural rock and maybe even some quartz. You know, I'm just taking my guesses here. The weapons are actually really nice. You know, he has boomerangs. Which can, you know, fold up and down and all that stuff. And it looks like, you know, the turbine is actually, well, turning. Which is what I love about these weapons. And like standard with all the others... He has the gear system, although here it's only limited to one arm. Sorry for more barking in the background that you might hear. My dogs again. But anyway, here's something cool you can actually do, which is one of the power-up versions of Bahato you can do. Is you take them and put them on his feet. Now, I could be doing this wrong, I don't know 
how exactly we're supposed to put them on here. I can only take my guesses. Put it on to his feet, like this. And there you go. And now he has little hover feet. Now you may be wondering, what does he do for offense? The Gurok and here can then be placed in his arm or in his hand and now he has a little dagger which this is actually very very nice and I love how they pretty much compensated for a lack of a weapon when they're on his feet you know that's actually really really nice and standard of all the Toa he comes with a golden version of the Mask of Stone which, it actually looks really, really nice. Kind of relating to how they originally were finding the gold versions of their masks. And, with all the sets, you have a little scorpion, skull spider, you could say. And can latch onto his face, I'm not going to do that because it's kind of a waste of time. Let me put this guy back to how he is normally. I'm not going to take ages like I did with Golly, I mean, that was a disaster. It was not like that at all. And his boomerangs are starting to fall apart. Because the pin is no longer there. Unintentional, it just happens. And just do that. If you're lazy like me. Put them in his hands. There goes the other one. Unintentional, but practical. Let's put it like this and see what happens. There we go. And there we go. So, what do I think of Bahatu, Master of Stone? This is a really great comeback set for Bahatu. It is very well made, it is unique. Overall, it just it's a very great comeback. It's good to have Bahatu back. Very great to have him back. And this was a good way for him to come back. So anyway, next time we'll be looking at a new uh, Master of Earth. So, thank you guys for watching this video. If you like what you see, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And be sure to check out my gaming channel, Dark Spectre, for more content. And as always, this has been 1UP from 1UP2086, aka Dark Spectre. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next review. Ciao!